Before I met Up with Delivered You, my faith was, was present, but weak. Uh, I, I think I felt more like the Sunday uh, bench warmer at times than the Christian in the field. As you get tucked away into a business that is a hard thriving, fast paced environment, it was quite often so difficult to connect with the faith other than stop on Saturday and we're going to church on Sunday. The before scenario was much a, a distant connection with the team. I was merely the boss. I would tell them what to do. I would run everything myself. I would not give anything up. I was a control and entity uh, in my life. I was so busy that I carried my business home quite often carried on. So there was little time for the wife and kids. Uh, communication was poor at that point in time. Uh, it was a struggling entity for me to run everything and I dedicated most of my time to the business. My original contact with Delivered You was when we hit that point of we have a discontent among our team. We had some exit interviews for some guys leaving, which kind of was the, the boost for us to say, okay, let's, let's look at this more. Let's deal with Delivered You. They seem to have something. We haven't met any of the other business owners at that point, but then we met the other business owners and there's always a, a sense of peace around them, a sense of this is a lot easier now than it was kind of message that they carried with them. And as we met more and more the other business owners and connected more on a one-on-one -on -one level with those business owners, we found out that the processes Delivered You has used is not only brilliant for a business perspective, but the overall message of faith and belonging to God, knowing who you are and whose you are, was a very important piece to bring it all together. I find myself a better communicator to my wife and kids. Uh, I find myself much easier going. I mean, the old me would fly off the handle, new me, you probably couldn't if you tried. It's a whole different scenario. Uh, the guys have ownership all over the shop. Um, I feel that they do calls, they do quotes, they book it. And at the billing point in time, I sometimes look at the invoice and go, I don't remember ever talking to this person. So there's a lot of ownership on my my lead hand, uh, my senior guys, Bob, Joey, and Jay, to do all that. And of course, my office girl, Ashley, who takes on all the invoicing, accounts receivable, HSD, WSB, everything is on her plate and it's off my plate. So I can really refocus my energy of where do I need to be? How do I need to treat my guys? What's wrong with the guys? The one that lost his head in the morning, what's, what's burdening you? I now have the time to say, okay, hey, bud, what's wrong with you? What's on your mind? Why are you so burdened? As in before, there was no time. It was always the rush of the moment. The overall impact on my relationship with Janine, my bride, has been very positive. We, we communicate better. We understand each other better. The parameters that were set through this process for us to know how we tick and how we live and how we understand God eats independently, it's, it's been hugely improving to know where God belongs in your business. And that has to be the center point to me. God has to be in the center of your business as we are stewards of the business that we have been entrusted with. So that comes first and then everything else will radiate out from there. Anything from happy employees, the way we can treat them through God's eyes, to our spouse, to our kids. And that's my number one uh, recommendation for these owners and also the process from Deliver You to set up business in operation of how do you take yourself from that throne and step it down and delegate all the, uh, the business decisions and business uh, tasks to the rest of the team where you are kind of freed up and have more, more space. Uh, to me they're what I refer to as the gold mine because I, I've, I've yearned for those meetings on, on Wednesday morning where I hear all my Christian brothers in different towns and different difficulties in their business and, and a lot of them they resonate with me quite deeply as well so we're in the same playing fields we're in the same size of business we're in the same growth uh, journey and the point of time we're at we're dealing with same difficulties whether it's collections or money or, or employees and difficulties and it's it's such a relieving environment that we can go to our brothers and say well here's Here's what I'm dealing with. And then we're able just to pray for one another going around the circle, which is, was a new thing for me. The, the faith component, again, is a great portion of it, but there's much more. There's business of 
as we go through with the map we group we go through uh, how do you get more business what's your low hanging fruit what's your high hanging fruit how do you spend your time well in the 168 program that we've uh, entertained in that it's the 168 hours in a week how do you spend all those hours properly in all those portions of life that are important to you and going through all those exercises with fellow business owners it's it's been a rich blessing